Make sure that you hit the like button and the notification button so that you can be tuned in to all my upcoming videos. Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to do fried cabbage. It starts out uh, the same way that I showed you when we did the stuffed cabbage leaves. There's a core in, in the cabbage that you have to cut out. It's not like lettuce. Lettuce you can bang it on the counter and that core will come right out. You have to literally use a knife for this. And then I'm going to put it in the pot with some hot water so it can steam a little bit. Now I have two heads of cabbage. I myself like it, the cabbage fried with onion. Um, my son likes it done with noodles. And that is the way it's done traditionally is onions and noodles. But I don't like noodles and he doesn't like onions. So I'm going to do one head with onions and I'm going to do the other head with noodles. So I already took the outer leaves off, the ones that are kind of yucky and brown, and I'm putting it in the pot of hot water. And we're going to let that steam maybe about 10 minutes, maybe 15, but that's what the core looks like when it comes. So in this pan, I am sauteing some onions because my cabbage is going to have onions. And I think I'm also going to uh, cut up a clove of garlic to put in there. I like garlic. Most of the people in this house like garlic. So I'm going to chop up a clove of garlic and put it in there also. And I have the cabbage boiling. Um, getting ready to take that out. Because you don't want it to cook. You just want it to get a little soft so that you can um, cut it up, shred it, however you want to do that. I showed you before how you do a garlic. You just smack it on the, on the, with the knife. And then you peel all that yucky stuff off. So I'm going to take this out of the pot and it's going to be really hot. So I'm going to have to let it sit for just a minute before I start cutting into it. That's why I can even get it out of the pot. So I'm attempting to cut up this cabbage. It's very, very hot. Uh, in the middle, it's not because we didn't cook it all the way through. But I'm kind of, this is really shredding it because look, this is how it turns out. That's how you want it to look. So you cut the head in half and then you just start cutting slices. And then I'm going to throw it right in the pan with the onions. And I may have to add some more um, oil to it. And usually when I'm frying like that, when I'm sauteing, I always like to add butter as well. So I'm going to put this back on the heat. I had to take it off the heat so the onions didn't burn. And I'm going to continue shredding until I get this whole head. Now this is the one with the onion. Once I get this done, I'm going to take it out of this pan, put it in a container or in another pan, and then I'm going to start the one with the noodles. So this is the cabbage that I did with the onions, and it's pretty much cooked all the way down. Um, you see how much it reduced. It was in a big pan, and now it's in the smaller pan. So I'm going to move this off to here and put it on a different burner and I'm going to get started on the other one. Here's what I did. I'm only using a half of a head for each combination that I was telling you. This is the onion one, the noodle one is going to be this half of cabbage and the noodles. But only because if I did a whole head it would be too much, we couldn't eat all that. So I decided to only do half and I'll save that cabbage, that other head of cabbage for something. So I'm going to move this one back here. I just want to get it a little bit browner. But in the meantime, I have the water boiling for the noodles. And I'm going to throw them in in a minute. But in, I'm going to put this back on the burner. And I'm going to put more 
foil and more butter in there and I'm gonna chop up that head, that half head. So this one is cooked down pretty much where it's supposed to be. And now I'm gonna add the noodles, which I cooked till they were done and then I buttered them. And I'm gonna add them to the cabbage. Now, I'm also gonna add some more butter just to give it something to marry them together, the cabbage and the noodles. And also, I'm gonna take a little bit out of mine and a little bit out of this one because Ed likes it with the noodles and the onions. I'm gonna let this brown up a little bit more and then we're gonna be ready to eat. And I'm getting ready to put our protein in the oven. Here's the butter, put our butter in there. Let that melt down. So we're not quite ready to eat yet because I have to put our protein in the oven, but I'm gonna taste this. A little bit of a taste of mine. Button so that you can be tuned in to all my up 